Right. Um, I think before I wanted to start, I wanted to say what a big privilege it is to sit in this room with such amazing women. Um, being only 19 years old and sitting across these amazing women, I'm truly inspired. Um, and I know that sitting here today, I'm not just representing uh, myself, I'm representing all my sisters that don't have voices. Um, as a South African, I'm, a, I'm representing all the people back home that couldn't be here, but that definitely need the UN women and their um, programs to get their rights. Um, I think from my family, um, I was always brought up in a space where I could achieve whatever I wanted to. I remember telling my mom and dad at a very young age that I wanted to change the world and my mom and dad said, okay, that's great, let's do it. Um, so I think that I was always very supported in my family structure. And that's not just having a mother that's a great role model, but I think by getting young women involved in STEM, it's more important to also see how their fathers can play a role. And my father also, always inspired me to follow my dreams. I remember, because I'm currently a student at Stanford, that when he took the decision <laughs> to, when my mom and dad took the decision to send me all the way here, um, my dad told me that he's not, it, it's a difficult decision, not because I'm his daughter, but because I'm a child, his child. And that's the reason that when parents look at their children get involved in innovation, they shouldn't see it as girls, but just as children that are interested in innovation and creating change. I think when I was young, I was always interested in asking questions and seeing the world around me. And often I would be disappointed that a lot of the problems I was looking at were not being solved. Mm -hmm. And I think I took this disappointment into seeing what I could answer and how I could create Prob uh, solutions to addressing those problems, no matter my background, my community. I knew that I had a strong background and no matter what I did, I could somehow improve my community, even if it was to a very small extent. What was the, the solution? And here, a follow-up question that comes from the, the ED there, uh, who wants to know, was there one moment, was there one inspirational moment for you? I think not necessarily, and I don't think that a lot of girls that are interested in STEM should always look for that one moment that their um, that idea is gonna come, because that's obviously not gonna encourage involvement, that STEM is a difficult process. Mm -hmm. It's something that it doesn't just come from one amazing, um, Yahoo moment. It comes from a long time of failures, of not achieving what you want, and re-looking re at the drawing board and, board and creating something better. So I didn't have that moment, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people don't have that moment. Um, but what I created, which I think was Pumzile's question, was a polymer to help plants combat mm -hmm. drought. Mm -hmm. Um, which South Africa and over 66% of the world was experiencing at the time. Mm -hmm. And current solutions were not low cost, they were not biodegradable. So what I created was a biodegradable and low cost solution to help plants combat drought. You are amazing, <laughs> isn't she? <laughs> amazing.